They look pretty ordinary, but these seeds have quite a story to tell. How well, was it, Mike, when you uh, discovered that little watermelon stand outside of Beale Air Force Base? I think it was in the summer of 2014. So for four years... <laughs> Coming up on four years. <laughs> go ahead and explain what's in your envelope. So we harvested some of the seeds from that uh, watermelon we bought at that stand, and they were called Texas Rattlers. Now, they were really good, and so we're hoping to have our own crop up here, but we'll let you know. <laughs> well, what are the chances of growing watermelon in Alaska? Um, What's everybody telling us? They say no. Yeah, and they said the same about tomatoes, but we've got a greenhouse. We do. Of course, this is going to take up the whole greenhouse to have tomatoes and watermelon in it. It will take up quite a bit of it. You should have gotten me a bigger greenhouse. Well, I could probably end up getting you another greenhouse. <laughs> we'll have a watermelon greenhouse. <laughs> this is our tropic greenhouse. <laughs> yeah. So, how many seeds do you have in there? I've got about a dozen. No, I've got two dozen in there. Here's where the challenge comes in. We've been learning at church about seeds, and with seeds, you can use it all right away. And if you eat, for instance, all the seed corn, you have nothing in future years. Or you can deny yourself some of that for right now in the present and invest it in the future and see huge returns on your investment. And so you can invest your time, you can invest finances, you can invest talents. There's, it, it was way more than what I am sharing right here. But we have these Texas watermelons. We have these Texas Rattler watermelon seeds. And we know we have the potential with the seeds in Mike's envelope to keep ourselves in Texas Rattler watermelons. That is a tongue twister for the rest of our lives. But we also have the potential of not being able to grow a watermelon using all of our seeds and not being able to find any again. And so what we would like to do, we know we have friends in Texas, we know we have friends in the South. If you happen to live there and you like gardening and you're fairly adept at it, and you have space and you wouldn't mind us sending you some of these Texas Rattler seeds and planting them, you can keep the watermelon, and let me tell you, it is good watermelon. If you will just harvest the seeds and send us most of the seeds back, or at least half of the seeds, so that we can continue to grow them up here. Now we're going to try a variety of things to grow this watermelon. We're thinking of a bed with possibly making a cold frame around it. We're also thinking of the greenhouse, as you heard Mike talking about. We'd love it if you would send us some pictures or even video clips of your watermelon as it grows. We really just want to have some fun, and we want to have some good tasting watermelon by the end of the summer. Uh, I've already bought one watermelon here, and I'm telling you, it looked good, but we cut into it, and oh, you guys, I've never seen a watermelon do this, but we sliced it, and it just gushed red watermelon juice everywhere. It was the most disappointing thing that I've ever, well, it wasn't the most disappointing thing, but it was right up there with the top 10 to see that thing. Every time I go out to the compost heap, there's that watermelon rind, and it makes us me sad. So I really want to, uh, well, fix that. I built up a lot of expectations when I brought home a watermelon. Now I would like to grow one that actually tastes good. And we know the Texas Rattler watermelons are good. So if you're in, leave a comment below. Let us know that you're interested. If we get too much of a response, then, um, well, we'll have a drawing or something. And uh, yes, share this video. If you know someone who might be interested in growing them, tag them. We are serious about this. We want to grow some wonderful, delicious Texas Rattler watermelon up here in Alaska. Have you heard of soaking watermelon seeds in warm milk before planting them? Is that an old wives' tale? Is it something that really works? We were YouTubing and found that as an option. I was going to just soak them in warm water. 
But tell us, have you heard about warm milk? What's it supposed to do? Could it hurt them? Could it help? 